Good afternoon. I'm Randy Stone with your midday Arklamas update. Well, a man is pulled out of a burning home early Tuesday morning in Monroe. The Monroe Fire Department was dispatched to Adams Street at 828 AM. They arrived at the scene and within three minutes, according to reports, then a man and a dog were pulled from that burning home. The man was immediately taken to the hospital and was in critical condition. He has since been moved to a hospital in Shreveport and is said to be in stable condition. So right now the fire is still under investigation. Uh, Monroe Fire Department was dispatched out. A neighbor called in a working structure fire. We arrived on scene. Uh, they got in and started making the initial attack. Uh, we did locate someone inside. We were able to rescue them out, uh, perform CPR. Uh, right now the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Well, in response to the string of recent house fires, many of which are in homes without smoke detectors, Washita Parish is urging residents to pick up their free smoke detectors. You can do so at the Monroe Fire Department, the West Monroe Fire Department, and the Washita Parish Fire Department. Did you know that portable heaters are one of the leading causes of house fires? in the United States are also one of the leading causes of fire deaths in the entire uh, nation. Around 44,000 fires happen each year. Because these heaters and as cooler temperatures approach, it's important to practice fire safety. Ended, you should turn it off or unplug it before you leave a room. Never leave one going in a house that nobody's in. You never want to leave a portable heater uh, running while no one's at home. And it's also a good idea to turn those off before you go to bed. It's also a good time to check the batteries in your smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. In a crime alert, the West Monroe Police Department is asking for help identifying the two females pictured on your screen. As they are seen, they're accused of shoplifting from a local business inside the city limits of West Monroe. If you have any information on their identity, please contact Detective James Baker at 318-397-3222, or you can contact Crime Stoppers North Delta at the number on your screen. Ruston authorities arrested a farmable man after he threatened a woman with a gun at Waffle House. The incident happened on last Saturday around 2.30 in the morning. The victim explained that 22-year-old Rashad Singleton was allegedly making sexual gestures toward her inside that house, Waffle House. When she turned around to tell Singleton to stop, he allegedly pulled out the pistol, threatened her. Singleton was booked at the Lincoln Parish Detention Center for aggravated assault with a firearm and illegal carrying of that weapon. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Alex Noel. Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. Taking a look at today's daytime highs after the rain clears, noting that most of the day will actually reside in the mid to upper 40s. A few of us may pop into the lower 50s later this afternoon, but it won't be for the widespread region, especially if you're in southern Arkansas. We could have that rain clearing early this morning, but towards the afternoon and evening, clouds will follow suit, leaving for tomorrow morning mostly sunny. As far as overnight lows tonight, they will be rather chilly, dropping pretty dramatically back down into the lower 30s. Also on that note, we have the potential for fog to develop late tonight and early tomorrow morning. And when you have temperatures in the lower 30s, potentially upper 20s in some areas, freezing fog has the potential to form. So if you have late night travel, early morning travel, keep that in mind. You may want to leave a little bit earlier to account for traffic and visibility and also to make sure that your car is defrosted. Over the next seven days, we do have rain in the forecast, notably on a Friday into the Saturday, but that should clear on Sunday with another round of rain and potential thunderstorms as well on Monday and Tuesday. For the next few nights, we will increase in temperature from a near freezing tonight to a just above freezing Thursday night. And again, with moisture back into the forecast, the uh, overall temperatures will reside near seasonal until we get to Sunday and Monday when we pop into slightly above average for this time of year. Again, that's due to the moisture in the atmosphere keeping things warmer than we typically would see. And that is it for our update. NBC News will be continuing now. Take care of each other. Check on your pets and your neighbors. God bless.